And over the tenure, well, the last decade, the tenure of Coach Neil Matalolo, 43% of the games have been determined by a possession. If you can think about it, that's how close the margin is in winning or losing. Kenny's done a magnificent job for us as, as the coach and leading us in this, um, this annual classic. And he's tied right now with Coach Blake at Army for the winningest coach in the history of the Army Navy Series for wins. As I look out and I, as I listen to people, the thing that I think about is gratitude. As I listen to everybody talk, just first and foremost, gratitude. But the other thing I thought about, just what this place represents. We're gonna try to win as hard as we can. They are gonna try to win as hard as they can. But there are things way more important in football. And I've been here so long, 20 years now, that I've, I've seen all of that. You know, all those that have served, that are serving. Jeff and I are so fortunate to coach at a service academy. So we know this is going to be a tough challenge. I know our players are looking forward to this, as they are. With all the things that are going on in our country, the Army-Navy game is still a treasure in our country. And I'm humbled and proud to be a part of that. I, I think about these guys. Uh, Darrell went to our prep school. DJ came direct. And I'm so fortunate to coach these young men. And a lot of times I feel like I'm not worthy to coach them, but without said, I'm going to turn the time over to DJ right now. Well, firstly, I'd like to just thank everyone that made this possible. Thank Mayor Kenny, the city of Philadelphia, for having us here, welcoming us, uh, both teams, uh, PHL Sports and the Eagles for getting this field prepared and everything, and of course USA for presenting this. From my teammates and our program, it's a great opportunity, and it's an honor to be a part of the 118th Army-Navy game. So something that we're very excited about, and it's going to be an awesome game. I'll see y'all next Saturday.